Sorry, pardon? Is it noisy? Yeah. Okay. Greetings. Welcome back to my blog. Um, today I'm uh, going to just film me doing something a little bit different. So I'm having a lesson with uh, one of the guys up at the piping center. Uh, so I'm hoping just to kind of go through some technique uh, and then possibly a couple of tunes afterwards. And so Um, no, no, nothing in particular. Really. I need I need to go over those. In fact, this this has probably been a good session because um, it'll kick my kick my ass to get back into playing my MSR. Right. The things that you need to focus on the most is the D grace notes. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and don't obsess over them, but get them consistent because they're hit and miss at the moment. Would you would you would you recommend? Because so obviously sometimes playing the D grace notes, which I have been doing, is maybe not enough. Maybe. Maybe just taking out little phrases of the tunes with the, with the D grace notes in them and just doing them slowly. Yeah, exactly. Or I mean, I would do that exercise just the D grace note scale up and down. Okay. Or practice tackums and stuff, okay? Because that's where you're going to get some quick D grace notes in there as well. Or like that tune, um, all tackum tavi. Yeah. All tackum tavi. There should be a D grace note on both of those. You know, you're getting a quick D grace note back up. Yeah, and, and I and I do struggle with those. Yeah, definitely. I've got them dressed, as you can see, the usual gear, and uh, I'll be ready to go. In about it's a little bit tricky trying to trying to film while you're actually playing a playing a gig, so. Uh, Show you guys some footage later. Adios. to have their cockadicky cock soup and I'm hanging about to pipe the haggis in hopefully in about half an hour so lots of waiting around I'm still waiting um, I piped in the haggis and I'm just going to do an extra little bit at the end of the night so it's going to be a long wait I've got a hole in my sock right there which is pretty cool because I've been walking around like that all night. Some brogues. Great, so I have to try and cover that up somehow. Uh, just have to... So I've been sitting and analysing my, my uniform since I found a hole in my sock. And I've just noticed that that is a lot smaller than that. So I'm basically walking around with a very uneven sporran. So. I'm finding problems with my uniform all over the place here. Yeah. Despicable. My kilt pin's bent. I've got a hole in my sock. My shoes are looking a bit tatty at the moment. Unpolished. I really am a disgraceful piper. My uh, flash is all bent. Ah, oh, jeez. I need to change. I need to get some new stuff. And my laces. I've never actually worked out how to tie laces, but I, I, I kind of go round, round, round and then tie them up. It'd just be nice to play old Lang Syne later, and as easy as it is, I haven't played it for ages, and uh, I'm a little bit nervous about playing it. Um, I haven't got my chanter on me, so I'm just kind of trying to finger along and remember how the tune goes. It's one of those tunes that you only play like occasionally. Some of my CDs recently, and kind of got together a pile of the, all the piping CDs I've collected. Most of them are here. Um, so I don't know, I don't know how, many of, uh, how many of you out there have many of these, but I'll, I'll go through them. This is the Field Marshal Montgomery Pipe Band debut CD. It's pretty, it's pretty good, but I, would, um, I myself would classify it as a, as a heavy CD. There's not, really, um, there's not really anything 
fancy on there, so to speak. I mean, obviously the playing's brilliant, but it's um, you know, it's, it's a heavy CD. Then you've got the Simon Fraser University on Home Ground. Uh, I've got Volume One and Two. Very good CDs. Not my favourite, but uh, there's some there's some pretty cool sets on here. Obviously, Stuart Little doing his normal stuff, um, and uh, some good some good band sets as well. The Fiddler's Rally on on Volume One is really really good. I like the uh, I like the way they did that. So two two recommended CDs. There's a, a CD that our band did um, a couple of years ago. Uh, my name's on it, but I didn't actually play in it, unfortunately, because I was away in uh, in Australia at the time. There's a picture of a uh, picture of all of us on the back there. So this is kind of like a bit of a you know just a couple of our parade tunes that we play and uh, some of our competition sets and stuff. This is a piping live CD which I picked up in Glasgow. Uh, it was given to me at the piping centre. So this is the pi a piping live CD. Um, it's the recital series 2006-2007, and that was given to me um, up in Glasgow at the piping centre last year. Awesome CD. Um, at first I wasn't too keen on it, but there's some really good sets on there. Uh, my favourite being the Alan Tully set, which has Donald Og. The Swallow's Tale, The Gravel Walks, and The Humours of Tuller. Um, and also I love the Alistair Gillies uh, song, uh, track number 15. Uh, Cameron Highlander's Quick Step and the Cameron Highlander's Real. Awesome, awesome set. This CD holds a very special place in my heart because this was the CD that, that first got me into piping. Um, it's the 78th Frasier Highlander CD. Um, I have absolutely no idea when it was released, but I'm pretty sure it was probably early 90s or 80s or something like that, somewhere around there. Um, and this, this, if you haven't got the CD, you need to definitely, definitely get it if you haven't heard any of the tracks on there, because you know you can appreciate it for the for the time it was released. Um, it's got some amazing sets on there. It's got everyone's favourite, the Clumsy Lover, um, and it's, they've got an awesome medley with uh, the Mason's Apron in it. There's some very, very good solos uh, with a lot of um, Hornpipes and jigs, which I've actually recently started learning because they're, they're just awesome. Um, so yeah, that's my probably one of my one of my favourite CDs. My favourite, which I've showed you in one of my previous blogs, Recharged. Or awesome. this is this is the best piping CD out there. There's it's just no other CD comes close. I'm sorry, uh, you know every single track on here is just absolutely fantastic, and the sound is just oh man, superb, absolutely superb. And if you get the CD and you like it, or you haven't heard it yet, get it. You can follow it up with a DVD, which is just awesome. It's obviously just a kind of similar recording. I think it's got two extra tracks, two or three extra tracks on the um, on the DVD, plus a bit of extra extra footage and stuff. Um, this is this is really worth watching. You know, it's just to actually see um, the guys in the band playing this is is superb. You know, you wonder how these people actually get up there and and do these solo tag sets and stuff in front of an audience of pipers is just it's just beyond me. I don't know how they do it, but very, very good. Um, and another household favourite, Simon Fraser, University Pipe Band Live at Carnegie Hall. Probably probably my favourite of um, SFU CDs. Um, and my favourites being the Curlew set, track 17. I like a couple of the solo sets. Obviously Stuart Little again plays a really good uh, Blue Cloud and Mason's Apron. Um, so this is a very, very good CD. Most of these tend to sit in my car and kind of waddle through them through the week on the way into work and stuff. So that's my, uh, that's my piping CD collection. And uh, I hope it grows once we, uh, once we get more CDs released.